Hi, this is Anna. I picked up some crafty things recently, and today I got um, an order from Sizzix that I placed when they had the big sale. Um, so I thought I'd put together a video and just share some of the things I've found lately. Um, these are wood veneers from Studio Calico. I picked these up at Joann's. Their scrapbook embellishments were 50% off, so I brought this package home. This is the farm animals. It's horses and cows and pigs and roosters and ducks and I don't know what other farm animals, animals are in there, but um, all different sizes, so I brought those home. Um, let's see. Then um, I picked up this stack of um, notepads for a friend as a gift. She trains dogs in her spare time, so I thought these would be cute for her to have on the run. And this one has dogs at the top, bones, and things to fetch. And then it has these cute little dogs at the bottom. I thought that was cute. I had a 50% off coupon, so these were, I think, $2.50. Um, then I also grabbed this set of note cards for her. She's not crafty, so she likes to use store-bought note cards um, for her clients and whatnot. So I picked up this box for her, and I thought that was cute with the dogs at the bottom. And then it has six of those kinds of cards as well, and then matching envelopes. And I think this was $5 too, but I also had a, um, a second 50% off coupon. So those were... Uh, picked up for her and then I also picked up this roll of ribbon it's from the spring line that Joanne's is carrying now and I couldn't resist it's uh, chicken print grow chicken wire printed uh, grow grain ribbon so I thought that was cute um, I think that's all from Joanne's um, I did stop in at Michael's and pick up a few of the Valentine um, items so I chose this uh, be mine um, dollar stamp and the I love you one and this super cute little hedgehog with hearts on his back and then I also picked up this um, scalloped heart as well <clears throat> um, I picked up this roll of ribbon um, all their Valentine stuff was half off so this was I think a dollar um, and it's just craft colored ribbon with red and white printed hearts. So I thought that was cute. And then I found these really pretty flowers. They're paper flowers and there's some of them have glitter on them. Um, and the glittered ones actually are kind of firm, much more rigid than the um, just the paper ones. So I picked those up. I thought they were pretty and I got the corally orange color um, packet, the pink packet, and the turquoise. I thought those were pretty. And then I also picked up this $2 stamp that says Choose Joy and Beautiful You. And these are two different stamps. And these were from the $2 bins. And um, I had a 30% off coupon. 30% off your entire order. So I got that. And then I also picked up this little white ceramic jar. I thought it would be cute to have as a pencil holder on my desk. And it has an embossed flower print. Um and flourish on the side. So I thought that was pretty cute and this was a couple of dollars. Um, I also picked up this marquee glitter. This is from the new Heidi Swap line where it's for the uh, marquee letters that she has. And I picked up this color. It is just, I don't think they have a color on it. It just says glitter. Um, but they have all different kinds of colors. Pink and turquoise, black, um, I think there was even a purple um, and a silver and a gold. I liked this one. It was the the clear glitter, just the crystal glitter, but it actually has a little bit of silver shimmer to it, so I thought it was really pretty. And just to compare it to other um, clear crystal glitters that I have, I pulled this one out. Um, this is just an inexpensive glitter from Walmart or wherever. Um, that's just kind of clear, and you can see that the Heidi Swap one does look different. It has more of a silver sheen to it. so It's very pretty and it's very, very sparkly, so I thought it would be fun to use. And I had a 50% off coupon for that. And I think it, these are regularly $5.99, so I paid about $3 for that. <clears throat> um, I did pick up a few of the um, Valentine's sticker sheets. These were, I think, a dollar, 99 cents maybe, um, after the sale. 
So these are just the red epoxy hearts. And then I picked up this um, packet here. This one has two sheets in it, and I think, I don't think that's, I think that's called holographic. I'm not sure. It's just really sparkly. Um, and they're pink and red, and I thought those were very pretty. And I picked up these um, clear gems. They are self-adhesive hearts. So I got those. I think these were a dollar after the sale. And these pink and red ones as well. I thought those were very cute. Um, I think that's all of the Valentine's stuff that I picked up. Oh no, it's not. <clears throat> um, I'm putting together a Valentine package for my grandma and I like to send her these sugar and cream um, rolls of yarn and she likes to knit washcloths in her spare time so I like to send her these um, and when you're a good granddaughter you get occasionally washcloths returned to you in the mail when you send yarn so I'm hoping that when I send these to her she will have time to um, to knit me some new washcloths so those are the colors I chose for her this is a light cream and white these two and then these are a dark um, dark pink and white and these are the washcloths that she's made for me um, in the past with some of the yarn that I've sent her so it's cute yellow and white this one that's all different kind of crazy colors I don't think I sent her this yarn I bet somebody else did probably my mom <laughs> so but that's cute and then this one as well which is purple pink and green and she makes all different kinds of washcloths all different colors um, and so you never know what you're gonna get so anyway I'm excited to send her some more yarn so maybe I'll get some more washcloths in the mail and then I also found her this set of um, super fuzzy socks these were from TJ Maxx um, I just love this pink stripe it's dark pink light pink white and even red so I thought that was cute and then the second pair is just pink with a darker pink heel and toe and cuff up at the top and then the third pair of socks is just this um, all over hot pink so these are super soft and so I'm looking forward to putting those in the mail for her um, let's see I did pick up this package of felt hearts I think I got these at Hobby Lobby <clears throat> I've only been to Hobby Lobby once this year and I think this was probably the only thing I bought um, but I just like these felt hearts because the felt is so thick so I did pick up these and they were I don't know dollar fifty or two dollars maybe so those were fun um, let's see the other thing I picked up at TJ Maxx when I was there was this big mug um, and it has create on it and it's um, kind of an imperfect mold so it's not like a perfect circle but I just thought it was kind of fun and it was um, on clearance for uh, $2.50 or $2.99 I can't remember I don't have my receipts here so best guess <laughs> and I think that's all of the stuff I've picked up here um, locally I, I will share the Sizzix items I got in today from the big sale that they had recently um, I don't remember how much these were, but they were not very expensive with the big sale that they had. I don't think I paid any more than $6 for any one item, so uh, most of them I think were four. But um, This is the Lovebirds and Hearts uh, Thinlet die set, and I just really love that um, doily, the heart doily. So, got this, and that's the size of the heart die. So that'll be fun to use for Valentine's Day. <clears throat> and it comes with this cute little lovebird die, this um, arrow and two hearts, and then this heart border here as well. So I thought that was cute. Um, I picked up the heart card front. This was all, they were all very inexpensive. Um, this is a really, really large die here. It has a f um, leafy flourish, an XOXO. Um, this cute little label here and then this little scalloped border. Um, I also like that they come in the storage envelopes too. So this heart die is enormous. So if you can see the size of my hand there. 
So that's going to be really beautiful to use. And again, that's the Thinlit dies. Um, one of the older items I picked up, this was like, I don't even, three, $3 maybe. It was very, very inexpensive. This is a steel ruled die, and it's the Ghost's Bigs die. And I love these kinds of dies because they can cut out all different kinds of fabrics and felts and whatnot. So I thought that would be cute um, to use at Halloween. And I do like crafting at Halloween time, so... And you just can't go wrong with ghosts. Come on. I also got the um, Dress Up Animal Penguin. And again, this one was like, I don't know, $3. Just something silly. And it's this Bigs die that cuts out this really cute little penguin. I thought, if nothing else, it'd be cute to use um, at Christmas time to cut out little felty ornaments. So I got him. Um, I got the Teddy Bear die. He's pretty cute. And again, this is a Biggs die. <clears throat> so he cuts out a really cute shape like that. And I got the trophy antlers from Tim Holtz. Live in the Pacific Northwest now, you know. <laughs> I have to increase my woodland animal craft items, not just farm animals. <laughs> so I got the trophy antlers, and this is a big style as well, so it'll cut out um, the chipboards and felts and things like that. And then finally, I picked up the Fabby die, uh, which is the polar bear. And um, I've been looking at this die for a long time since it came out, and just never got around to placing an order for it. Um, but when I saw that the um, the shape of the the bear was really just more just like a standard bear shape, it doesn't necessarily have to be just a polar bear. Um, I thought, oh my gosh, that would be a great die to have for woodland projects because the die could be cut out in black, black felt, black wool, and could be used as a black bear. Um, so I thought that was super cute, cut out of black cardstock. Um, so if you're if you're not looking to do polar bear projects. Um, maybe using the die as a black bear um, for your crafting would be a better option for you. So that's what it looks like. It's a really nice size die. So I thought this would be really cute, especially for ornaments at Christmas time, um, to put on a woodland tree. So anyway, that's the that's the uh, order I picked up from Sizzix, the um, the big sale that they had, um, and I think that's it. So, um, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.